honestly, being a chef, I'm so used to being in control over everything. And all of a sudden, I have no control over anything in my life. So this was a way for me to actually kind of take back a little bit of control for myself. This was an opportunity for me to just do it, to do something without anybody else, without anybody else intervening. When my doctor said that it's, a, it's probably about a year, you know, without treatment, I just, in my head, I, I just knew that I had to, I had to make this year count. I had to do all those things that I wanted to do now. I, there's no option of me putting it off anymore because I might not be around. So I just knew that I had to do something to push myself to make sure that I could travel the world and eat at all these really fabulous restaurants to somehow get back into cooking a little bit if I could, like if my body permitted me to. You know, I knew I, knew I wasn't going to ever be able to open up my own restaurant, but that didn't mean I, I had to like stop living, I had to like stop finding other things I wanted to do, you know. So instead of focusing on on all the things that I wasn't able to do, I wanted to focus on on all the things that I could. You know, I just really hope that I'm able to make some kind of impact and some kind of difference in terms of the shining a spotlight on such a rare cancer because there's not a lot of research out there. There's not a lot of funding, which means there's not a lot of research, right? Because um, a lot of the other cancers, which are much more well known, raise so much more funds, um, you know, so then you're getting, you're getting all that attention and you're getting all that research because you have so much more money. Whereas with pediatric cancers, it's, that's just not the case because there's so few and far between and there's just not enough, um, no one's shining the spotlight on it, so they're not getting the funding that they need. And that's really what I'm trying to change. Every single day I get messages from absolute strangers from all around the world saying how they relate to the article in some way or the other, how I've inspired them to do something. Um, there was um, there was this woman who, who messaged me the other day saying that after she read my article, she decided to um, go out on a date with with somebody that she had been putting off. And it turned out he was amazing. And she gave me a play-by-play -play of, of the date that she was on and I thought that was, that was absolutely, uh, you know, incredible. And, you know, I, I messaged her back and, and, I, and I rooted her on and I was like, do it. You know, like, like go for it. Like, don't hold back. And she messaged me back and she was like, oh my God, I listened to your advice and she, and he was amazing. And we're going on a second date. And, you know, little things like that just make my day so much better. And, and I think it, it, yeah, it makes it all worth it. I think what I would really like everyone to know is just how grateful I am for everyone's support. You know, I, I, anyone and everyone who's ever messaged me on social media or uh, that I've ever met, um, whether it's been for a minute or I've known them my whole life, I just, I just want everyone to know just how grateful I am for their support and how much it means to me. We're keeping our faith strong that we're gonna find something that would, um, you know, get rid of it completely. We're not giving up on that. Um, yeah, so we'll keep it on.